Hey, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jump. Basically, you start out with massive amounts of data. You say, how are we going to analyze this? Well, let's fire up a pivot table and see if we can solve this problem. All right, welcome back to the Mr. Excel Netcast. I'm Bill Jell, and today's question from John talking about episode 322. Isn't that a long time ago where I showed how to add a comment that has a pop-up picture in a cell? John says, hey, I have a whole bunch of these I have to do. Very tedious to do it one at a time. Can we do a macro? Well, I tried it. I turned on the macro recorder and said, uh, add pics recorded. And I went through the steps to add a picture to one cell. So that's new comment. Backspace through the text. Choose the comment. And then Control-1 to format. And then we come here. Colors and lines. Open this drop down up. Choose fill effects where we choose picture. All right, select picture now. Uh, for this particular application, all of these SKUs have a picture in a particular folder. So it's under C colon Q image. And then it starts with QI and the SKU. So J45271. Bingo. There it is. Click insert. Click OK. Click OK. And we'll click away. Uh, now I can stop recording. You'll see how this works now when I hover over the red triangle. The picture pops up. Very cool, right? Well, hey, let's go take a look at that code. So come back here to the developer tab, Visual Basic, and wow, they record a lot of stuff here. There's the add comment, and then they go through and change the font, which is kind of silly because I got rid of all of that text, and then use selection.shaperange.fill.user picture. Uh, there you go. Okay, now an interesting thing here. That's the recorded code. Uh, I actually went back to the book uh, Learn Excel. 97 through 2010 from Mr. Excel. And out of 377 tips in this book, there's VBA and exactly one tip. And it's the VBA that shows how to solve this problem. The code that is in the book is much simpler than the recorded code. Okay, so for each cell in selection, we're going to select the range of SKUs, figure out what the picture is. Here's where I've hard coded it C colon backslash my folder name, my prefix QI concatenate in the SKU, and then finally .jpg at the end. Very simple. With cell, cell is an object variable. So as we go through each item in the selection, we'll have an object variable called cell. Uh, .add comment, and then the .shape, not shape range, .fill .user picture, and there's our variable. So let's give it a try. Uh, we'll come back here. We'll select the rest of the SKUs. We'll run that code. So macros, add picks, click run. Bam, look how fast that was. Added red triangles throughout. As we hover, we can see the picture for each individual SKU. Isn't that cool? Hey, John, great question. Uh, luckily, that one was in the book. So uh, we'll send you back for anyone who wants to see how to add one to episode 322, where we went through uh, probably a bit slower. And then uh, for anyone who wants to see how to uh, do that, of course, the ad picks. And by the way, in case I haven't mentioned it, you can always download that book for free. Uh, just go to mrexcel.com slash preview sig.html and uh, you can take a look at the book, figure out if you like it or not. If you like it, go out and buy it. If you don't, yeah, would you lose 60 seconds to download uh, the whole book? Hey, I want to thank you for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time for another netcast from Mr. Excel.